We begin with breaking news within the last two hours. Retail giant Walmart has filed a tort claim notice against multiple fire departments. This is the first step in filing a lawsuit for the handling of the fire at the Plainfield Fulfillment Center in March. Thanks for joining us. It's 5 o'clock on your Friday. I'm Scott Swan. Anne Marie has tonight off. And I'm Felicia Lawrence. Now, this tort claim is for the property loss and damages totaling more than $5 million, and that's more than the statutory limit here in Indiana. The claim alleges, quote, that fire suppression activities and or off-command staff and or command staff functions, rather, may have caused or exacerbated the extent of property loss and damages. Now, that fire took place back on March 16th. Thankfully, none of the 1,000 employees or 350 firefighters were injured in that huge blaze. In March, Plainfield Fire Chief Brent Anderson said the fire suppression system was working correctly. But at some point, a component of the system that supplies the water known as a riser was shut off. Overall system was kept on, but was overturned, was rather turned off in the area where the fire started. 13 News reached out to Walmart today about these claims, and they gave us the statement that we're putting here on the screen, saying we are taking steps as required under Indiana law to preserve our rights during this ongoing investigation. In response, the town of Plainfield told us that the town and the Plainfield Fire Territory remains committed to providing fire and emergency medical services to the residents and visitors of Plainfield. 